Hello everyone. Recently some news has come out about Bangladesh potentially buying air defense systems from China. I have personally investigated this matter and in this video I will tell you if this is true or not, if there is any credibility to this. And if it is true, then what air defense systems will Bangladesh be buying? Once I started investigating this matter, I found out that the news was reported by a Chinese news website that was written in the Mandarin language. On the article, it says that a Bangladeshi delegation on May 13th went to China and the delegation was led by Director of Department of Ordinance Abu Bakr Siddiq Khan. The Bangladeshi delegation reportedly discussed about the FK-3 medium to long-range air defense system, HQ-17AE short-range air defense system, and QW-18A man pad. Before talking about the air defense systems mentioned in this video, I want to take a brief moment to discuss a little about the source itself. The article is written in Mandarin Chinese. This means that the article was written for a Chinese audience, so for Chinese people to read and not for Bangladeshi people. Publishing fake news is a common thing in Bangladesh, sadly, but lying about a government matter like defense is very, very illegal in China. So I can confidently say that the article is true and that a Bangladeshi delegation did visit China to talk about purchasing air defense systems. Now let's talk about some basic information about the FK-3 and HQ-17AE. The FK-3 is an export variant of the Chinese HQ-22 SAM system. The FK-3 has a 100 km range and is mounted on a launch vehicle which can carry four ready-to-fire missiles each. A single FK-3 battery has anywhere from 4 to 8 of these launch vehicles, so they can have a total of either 16 or 32 ready-to-fire missiles in one battery. The FK-3 uses a semi-active radar homing slash radio command guidance system. The FK-3's long range for the affordable cost has made it an export favorite with both Serbia and Thailand buying it. The HQ-17AE is very similar to our FM-90 SAM systems, as they are both short-range Chinese SAM systems, but there are some key differences. The HQ-17AE has a 5 km longer range and uses more advanced semi-active radar homing instead of infrared homing like on the FM-90. Because of these factors, the HQ-17AE is more expensive than the FM-90. Some of you might understandably think why would we ever buy any more short-range air defense systems when we already have so many FM-90s, right? Let me put it this way. The FM-90 is a basic short-range air defense system, still capable but basic. Because of this, they are very cost-effective and we can operate them in high numbers. The HQ-17AE on the other hand is a very advanced short-range air defense system. So we can have the FM-90 in high numbers for good coverage, but we can have the HQ-17AE in limited numbers to protect high value areas like air bases. I think both of these SAM systems would be great additions to Bangladesh's air defense, especially the FK-3, although I am not very confident in the Bangladesh Army's leadership, so I don't think that anything, well not that I don't think, it is unlikely that anything really major is to come out of this. If it was the Bangladesh Air Force, on the other hand, I would be much more hopeful, although that's a discussion for a separate video. Although this is still good news regardless, long-time viewers of the channel will know that few months ago I made a video about Bangladesh and China's technology transfer deal. In that technology transfer deal, one of the transfer technologies were man pads. 
so Chinese man pads will be made in Bangladesh. In that video, I did say that Bangladesh was probably going to choose the Chinese QW18 to make in Bangladesh. So General Abu Bakr Siddiq Khan, who is in charge of Bangladesh's ordinance, him talking about the QW18 in this visit to China basically confirms what I said in that video. So Chinese QW18 man pads will be made in Bangladesh. That's the, at least there's some good news. Thank you guys for watching the video till the end. If you want to support my work, consider liking the video and leaving a comment. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.